This is Jack Fishman behind the camera speaking with music director Sebastian Langlessing about the October 28th and 29th concerts. These are the opening concerts of the Applause Classical Series in the 11-12 season. Now, Maestro, you've selected four composers, Perrot, Rachmaninoff, Liszt, and Schumann. And why have you selected these to open this part of the season? Well, if you look at the program, it looks a little bit eclectic, the, especially the first part of with these three different pieces. And actually, they are not. The first three pieces have something in common. Their their music is based on 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 music from the Latin Mass, um, especially Paganini and Liszt use for the last part in, in the composition the Dies Irae as as the main theme for for finishing their work and um, so they have this very much in common it's the same notes uh, where they play the variations on Paganini of course on the on the on the 24th Caprice by Paganini but later on this Caprice goes into the Dies Irae and the Totentanz the which is the, the the dance of death a little bit like the Danse Macabre is um, is is based on this Dies Irae theme um, Paired, uh, Paired's compositions are always rel religiously influenced, and um, the closest you can, uh, the best you can describe him is to, for example, to Gregorian um, singing, and he he comes from that very spiritual uh, approach to music, and all of his music is very spiritual. Uh, so is the uh, this cantos in memoriam uh, uh, Benjamin Britten. So we have a very spiritual first half with a very, very virtuoso approach, um, which also brings, you know, Paganini was become, and also Liz were accused because they played things that surpass a little bit human possibilities um, of having a deal with the devil because they did things People should not be able to do, um, and that's therefore I think um, there's a certain there's this certain tension in these in these pieces that that reveals that, uh, but it proves it's wrong um, because more people are able to do this now uh, than ever before. Um, the Schumann Second Symphony um, is is a piece that for me is maybe Schumann's most radical composition uh, in terms of developing themes in a very Beethovenian way um, especially in the first movement of the of the first symphony he really structures the piece and, and takes everything apart and, and 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 goes to the smallest section to develop the music it's it's really a piece that goes in one big go also, what, what he does, um, he has one theme that continues in all four movements and comes back, like in the if you want to say in the Wagnerian idea of a light motif, which is you know a motif that that guides us through um, through the whole piece. Um, it has also two very significant middle movements. Uh, one is a slow movement that is maybe one of the most beautiful romantic movements ever written. Gorgeous singing for the oboe clarinet and and also the first violin section. Gorgeous uh, piece. Very romantic and lush with long melodies. And then we have the most virtuosic uh, scherzo in, in orchestral writing. Um, actually, I don't remember a single audition I wouldn't have heard. Uh, this excerpt of the first violins uh, in this uh, Schumann Second Symphony. Um, so, as you can Im imagine, a piece with a lot of challenges and and has one of the most glorious finales too. Very exuberant, in in the spirit very close to the finale of Beethoven Five. Uh, really going into this uh, joyous. Uh, Finale with with an enormous amount of energy, so and I think it brings then the mystic part back to a um, 
brighter development. Actually, Schumann was in a very depressive phase when he started the composition of the symphony. And he said going through the symphony was for him like um, going from darkness into light. And that's also what you can really hear. The piece starts with a very somber introduction by the trumpets, horns, and, 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 and then the strings enter mysteriously and it end, ends with this very lush and bright, uh, joyous ending. So that's all the opening concert of the Applause Series, October 28th and 29th. Thank you. Thank you.